قتل حسین اصل میں In Allah's name do I begin choices, peace, blessings and salutations be upon his beloved and our beloved Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Rabbana zidna ilma wa razukna fahma O oh Allah, increase our knowledge and grant us understanding Sallallahu ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad bi rahmatika ya rahman rahimin I greet you with the universal greeting of peace Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I'm going to take only a few minutes to share some thoughts that I was thinking about. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Holy Quran, inna iddata shuhur inda Allahi ithna asha. So Allah says, surely in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there are 12 months from the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the skies and the earth, from the beginning. Allah created 12 months, from it four are sacred. And Allah says this is the perfect system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so don't oppress yourself in it. Based on this verse, I want to take out only three points, discuss it and conclude insha'Allah. Number one, when it's the new year, when we look at Muharram, we think of the new year. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about the 12 months. And he says how he created it in the beginning. Because what happened is in the time of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, people used to swap the months. So say for example, it's not allowed to, uh, to fight in September. What they would do? They would say this month is not the months. So Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah commanded him to reset. To reset the months. So when we think of the new year, what we always think of? New year's resolution. So here, we have to reset. The first thing I want from us in this gathering today, to reset our mindset, especially of the Ahlul Bayt of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Number one, to reset. Number two, Allah says, Minha arba'atun hurum. From it, four are special. This teaches us that everything, like all the companions of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they are all special. But from there, they are the cream of the crop. And this is the Ahlul Bayt of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the last part, Allah says, this is this pure and upright system of Allah. Don't oppress yourself in it. So we must stop oppression. Now when it comes to Muharram, there's three things we think of. New Year's, New Year's resolution. Then we think of Sidna Musa Alayhi Salam and Fir'aun. Because on Ashura, what took place where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took them out of darkness and put them in light. And we think of Sayyidina Hussein radiallahu anhu and the Ahlul Bayt where they fought against the forces of evil. So here, when we look at this, basically in this ayah of resetting and thinking of the cream of the crop and oppression, they're the same things we think of New Year's. We have New Year's, we think of Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam and Fir'aun, we think of Sayyidina Hussein and Ahlul Bayt against Yazid. Now what I want to take out from here, that with Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam and Fir'aun, you get Sayyidina Hussein alayhi salam and the Yazidis, there is one concept, and this concept is the forces of good fighting the forces of evil. So when I was pondering over this, we in the month of September, and we look, this is the month of heritage. And at the same time, Muharram came in this month, and we have our own battles also in South Africa for liberation. So I was thinking of Imam Abdullah Harun. And when I'm thinking of the name Harun, I look how Rasul Sallallahu says, Inni Samaituhuma, surely I named both of them Biwaladi Harun. Talking of Sayyidina Hassan and Sayyidina Hussein, Allah, as Nabi Sallallahu named them after the children of Harun alayhi salam. So I was playing with these thoughts in my mind. And I wrote a small piece which I would like to read to you. So it's called Parallels of Social Justice, a tribute to Imam Hussein, 
وایا امام عبداللہ ہارون ہیریٹیج منتھ ای پرفیکٹ ٹائم ٹو سیلیبریٹ آور ہیریٹیج ٹو دا وائڈر کانٹیکس آف آور پیپل بائی ریفلیکٹنگ آن دا لائفز آف آور ہیروز اسپیسیفکلی امام حسین علیہ السلام اینڈ امام عبداللہ ہارون ہسٹری ریپیٹڈ اٹ سیلف وت امام ہارون فائنڈنگ ہم سیلف ان اسٹاک اپوزیشن وت دا اتھارٹیز آف ہز ڈے جسٹ لائک دا بلیسڈ ہاؤس ہول آف رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دے وو میسکرڈ آن دا لینڈز آف کربلا by the tyrannical government of Yazid for their political beliefs and so too was our very own freedom fighter Imam Harun firstly tortured for 123 days and then systematically murdered on the 27th of September 1969 by the security branch of the apartheid government while paying for it with their lives they left a great legacy for all of us And this is to stand for social justice in the face of tyranny instead of living on our knees. With the forces of oppression trying timelessly and tirelessly to sideline, to censor, and at times they try to bury the message and the contribution of these great heroes, we are duty bound to continuously remind humanity of their great successes and the great sacrifice. You know, when the forces of justice and oppression meet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, these are the days of Allah. And Allah says, وَذَكِّرْهُمْ بِأَيَّامِ اللَّهِ Remember and remind the people about the days of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's what we do in these gatherings of commemoration. The historical precedence was set by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about sacrificing education and inclusiveness you know on the occasion of mubahala where rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah commands him to stand against falsehood this was the real example in surah 3 verse 61 allah tells rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam qul say ta'alu nadu abna'ana wa abna'ukum let us call our sons and you call your sons wa nisa'ana wa nisa'akum We will call our woman and you call your woman. Wa anfusana wa anfusakum. And you call yourselves and we'll come ourselves. Thumma nabtahil. Then we will make dua that Allah's curse must be upon those who are liars. What did Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam educate us? That he was in the front lines with Mawla Ali to stand for justice. He educated us that the youth must also be included. He brought Sayyidina Imam Al-Hasan and Sayyidina Imam Hussain. We were very young at that time. And then he tells us that the woman must also be included. And he brings Lady Fatima to Zahra, Salamullah Alayha. And when these people look, what Rasul Sallallahu is teaching us, that you must stand for your values. He was willing to stand with his own life and the life of the most beloved ones to him. And when you do this, he is educating us. to stand and be people of integrity and stand with your family and your whole life. And these are people of the community. And when they came with these pure souls, the people backed down. They realized that Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is standing for the liberation and for truth and for truthfulness and for justice. So benchmarking on what Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stood for, lived by and spread through education, Imam Hussein used the same model at Karbala And Imam Harun resonated with it. A model of social justice founded on the pure values of Islam. Education through example of self-sacrifice for one's values, integrity for the cause of justice, and inclusiveness of women and youth as active participants of our community. Imam Harun used his platform as the Imam of the Masjid of Stechman Road in Clermont, the Jamia Masjid, as a platform to educate the males and females. He started female classes. And he educated them. And he allowed the women to even be part of the executive of the masjid so they can contribute. And then he started a youth movement called the Clement Muslim Youth Association. And they used to publish a Muslim bulletin every month called uh, Islamic Mura. And then he also, with other people, with the Sayyids, they started off something called Muslim News, which is known as the Muslim Views now. And he was the editor at that time. 
to spread his message of what is happening, social political injustices that were taking place in our country. And he says that these laws were inhumane, barbaric and un-Islamic. So it was based on his thought of Islam. And he also says this was in complete negation on the fundamental principles of Islam designed to cripple us educationally, politically, economically. And he says we cannot accept this type of enslavement. So Imam Harun lived his life and he lived the life of Imam Hussein. As the great Khwaja explained and described, he said Hussein is the fate. Hussein, he is the fate. Hussein is the protector of the fate. He offered his head for the upkeep of Islam but not his hand in the hand of Yazid. Hussein is the foundation of La ilaha illallah. Similar to the price of Imam Hussein that he paid on the day of Karbala to preserve the principles of Islam, so too did Imam Harun. Almost like a candle burning himself to grant us a brighter and liberated South Africa. The lesson we take from these great heroes and Imams is that people should be people of integrity who stands for justice, even if it is as a high price. And our society should be inclusive of the youth and the women because they are active members of society who contribute dearly to the progress, the development, and transformation of our society. A poet said, let me end with this. A poet said, Imam Hussein, radiallahu anhu, when he speaks of Imam Hussein, he says that in the murder of Imam Hussein, lies the death of Yazid, for Islam is revived after every Karbala. And accordingly, in the murder of Imam Harun, lies the death of the apartheid government and the revival of social justice.